Wendy's Wonder, <laughs> next race. Three quid on the nose, you tit. I'd catch you in here. Everyone, it's Jack and Victor. They're safe. Oh, you go bastard. Put Winston on. Winston, it's Jack. They're safe. <laughs> Give me that phone, you dick. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome, or welcome back to the channel. We're back with some steel game. This is season three, episode one. How is this season three already? I'm absolutely loving it. I'm having a great time. Grab some tea, coffee, cappuccino, anything you need. I've got some coffee with me right now. I do have some tea cakes. I'm going to get some tea cakes in a bit. But yeah, let's go. Hey, Toronto. Hi, Toronto. Jeez, oh. One second, I'm gonna let that play again. While that's playing, I'm gonna go get some tea cakes. Sorry, <laughs> I'm craving some tea cakes right now. Oh, I was gonna wait till later, but I'm just gonna let it play. One second, my bad. One second, I'm gonna play. See you in a minute. I hope you don't mind. I've brought Victor with me. Oh, Dad. That's a bit much. I should mention to me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I oh, yeah, just a bit shat myself there. It's a bollocks, isn't it? Oh, aye. It's like Hollywood. <laughs> I'm not going home. <laughs> Size that bloody tail here. Oh, Wait, this is this is Toronto, isn't it? This is Canada, I think. It is, isn't it? I think so. I think so. How's the boys? There you go, Granddad. Thank you, Jack. Here you go, Mr. McDid. Hey, that's enough of that. Call me Victor. <laughs> Tenants, nice touch. Where'd your father get these? There's a great shop in the mall. They do all the beers. Want to make you feel right at home. Ah, smashing, Tony boy. Your health. These are big lads now, right enough, eh? Sizing them. Do you drink beer, do you? No. I'm going to try some. I'll put it up, take it easy. Fiona, there's the boys drinking beer. Very <laughs> used to. Why then? You'll be starving. It's pastrami sandwiches there, coleslaw, dills and chips. Very American, I've always wanted to say. Mm. Give me a pastrami and rye and hold the, um... <laughs> Hold the, um, that stuff that looks like salad cream. Mayo. Aye, the mayo. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you're here, Dad. It's so good to see you. Oh, good to see you too, darling. Right, first things first. You'll be wanting a wee sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm high on adrenaline. I'm not happy to be here. Right, Dad. Oh, I can't sleep. Well, it's up to you. I've drew up a wee list of things you might want to see when you're here. All right. There you go. You know, the CN Tower, Niagara Falls, the touristy stuff and that. Uh, that sounds smashing. Hey, Victor. Smashing. <laughs> <laughs> go and get his bed ready. Listen, darling, um, would it be all right if I used your phone? It's just that I promised them I'd phone as soon as we arrived, you know? Who? Uh, the Klansman. A pub? You're phoning a pub to let them know you've arrived safely? Uh, is that daft, is it? <laughs> no, if you don't think it is. Dial double zero, double... That's proper community right there. That that's that seems like nothing, but it's the fact that he just obviously he's in Canada right now, and all he's thinking is, oh, I have to call back home to let them know I'm all right. That's that's beautiful because people do care. That's people that care for him and him and Victor. 
That's oh, I love that. Love that. Four four one four one. Remember number. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> What's the number? Uh, four nine six zero 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 nine. There you are. Right. Uh, What's well, a ringing? Clansman. Hello, Bobby. It's, it's Jack here. Jack? Just call in to say we've arrived safe. That's us landed safe. Oh, hallelujah. You're safe. I mean, when was it you left? Yesterday. And you've landed now, and you're safe. Oh, well, thank God. We were worried sick. <laughs> Everyone, it's Jack and Victor. They're safe. Oh, you bastard. Put Winston on. Winston, it's Jack. They're safe. Give me that phone, you dick. Give Victor a big kiss for me, Jack. Godspeed, Jack. Godspeed. <laughs> Jack. Jack, you're safe. Don't you bloody start. I'm not starting. How's your family? Hey, aye, aye, they're fine and dandy, Winston. What time is it there? I don't know. Back at ten. At night? Aye. So the back of five here. Is it? Aye. That means when you're going to your bed, I'll still have the whole night in front of me. Aye. First thing in the morning, I'll be getting up and... Aye, aye, Jack, the world's round. What is it? <laughs> have you a pen there? <laughs> aye. Aye, sir. Have you got a pen? Right, OK. This is where we're going to be, so write this down. You know, just in case anything. In case of what? In case your granda dies and I have to phone you? No, um, I don't know. In case of who spun's doing or whatever. Aye, OK. Right. Go. It'll be 001, right? And then it's... 555-572-7224. Did you hear that? Aye. Right, OK, the address. 1009. 1009, uh huh. 1009, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Morning, guys. Morning, Navid. Oh, look at your hair. Oh, fancy. Aye, we shampooed set with Claire's this morning. Classy. I wonder who this new look could be for, huh? It is surely not for me, because sadly, I am taken already with Naomi Campbell over there. <laughs> Winston. No! Oh, give yourself peace, Isaac. Isaac. You've been mutting on about him all week, making the moon face. Mm. Oh, Winston. I have no. Have I? Ah, you have. So are you to an item now? No. Oh, I don't know. We have a right laugh together, and he loves his grub. He's coming round to my place for his dinner the night. No. <laughs> no. Oh, but maybe. Well, oh jeez, he is coming in the shop now. Don't say a word to it. Ah, of course not. Hello, Navid. So I hear you and Isaac pumping, eh? <laughs> you mad shagger, Isaac, did not you? Indeed, I did not. I never said that <laughs> once. Does that make you feel proud, Navid? Using that sort of language in front of an employee? Oh, hmm. No. Sorry. Prick. Ah, he's a prick. He's my paper. Prick. Winston, I was thinking seven for your dinner the night. Oh, no, no, the night. I'm playing dominoes with Eric and Tam the night. Oh, and I've got a lovely big steak pie, you know. Out of Finley's. Finley's? With the sausages through it? And the well-fired crust? Oh, Winston, you should see it. I will see it. I'm blowing Eric and Tam out. Oh, I will see it. You do that for me? I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for the pie. <laughs> you doing it for the pie? <laughs> the pie? <laughs> Smashing. Oh. Finally, Dad? awake. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Fiona. I woke you up. No. Can you not sleep? No. I got up about ten minutes ago. I think it's a button. <laughs> Let me keep your bloody tea. I'll get it. I'll get it here. Away you back to your bed. Oh no. We'll have a wee gab. 
catch up. It's good you brung Victor with you. Aye, aye. He's a good pal to me. Is anything the matter? No, no, I was just thinking. I can't believe the boys. Bloody size of them. I know. <laughs> Stephen starts high school next year. Aye, he done the right thing moving it here. It's a rare place to bring mines up. Yeah. It's home now. It's Canada Day, up Canada Way. Morning, where's the conflict? <laughs> you need to your bed, you halfway. It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Tony, what do we owe you for these tickets, boy? Nothing at all, Jack. I get them through the company. Oh, for nothing? Aye. Good, isn't it? Smashing mm. atmosphere. Lovely and safe. A right mm. good family night out there, eh? You got eye talking skull in Grandad. Eh? Oh, I love Jack. I. It's a mark because all this. People don't realise all these memories when obviously in the end we are gonna die when the grandparents die and everything the kids the uh the care the kids the parents that's what they're gonna remember like now i i make sure every single time i meet up with my you know my dad my, i don't leave my parents obviously but when i do meet up with them every single time i make sure i cherish that moment like now i'm going on a big family holiday in may i can't wait for that uh a few weeks ago my no a few weeks ago i think it was last week was it last week yeah last week my dad came to visit and he actually tried some of this so things like that, just having that moment, laughing together, sharing memories, is what I'm gonna cherish. That I'm gonna pass down to my grandkids, you know, to go out. stories like that. Cause time flies like that. Time flies. Uh, if you wanna see that video, go check it out. Um, trying Scottish snacks with my dad. I'm also gonna try and wait more with him when we do go on holiday. We're going to Dubai. Yes. But when when, when, I, when I do go to Dubai, my family, I'll try more snacks with them. But you guys do let me know more Scottish food you guys want to try or any English food you want to try. Please, please comment down below. I'm really, really enjoying it. I love it. I love eating. I've got a very sweet tooth. I love eating. I love watching comedy. It's the best stuff to do. Let's go. But, see, uh, nobody bothers me, you know. It's, uh, it's football over where we come from, you know what I mean? Aye, football. We used to go to the football on a Saturday. We used to take a, what they call a, a big carry out, 12 bottles of beer. Mm. <laughs> we bought a bottle each. <laughs> of course, they didn't have seats in their days. You had to stand, you know. Every now and again, there'd be a dodgy decision. And then a sea of beer Still bottles would come over your head like that. Yeah. You'd, duck, then you'd hear them whistling by your ears. <laughs> and the whole time you'd be praying that somebody wasn't pissing up the back of your throat. <laughs> Mind this one time after a match. Oh, there was a running battle with folk all stabbing each other. And me and your grandpa, we cut up this wee back street to get away from it all, you know. And just as we turned this corner, this big fat bastard Polish with a big charger catches me square in the mouth with his baton. Pow! You want to see the blood? Oh, what well, off it was, eh? Uh... Hey, you oh, Ricky! You're a bastard dumpling, you! Victor, please. Sorry, lads. It's okay, Granddad. It's all right. We should have had a wee punt on this game. Mm. I'm saying, Tony, we should have had a bet in the game there. Eh? Oh, you can't bet on the games. Can you put a line on? No. It's a bit poor, isn't it? Why not? It's all very tame, isn't it? Uh, it's all a bit... Wait, can you, not bear, can you not bet on hockey? I'm sure you can bet on hockey. Can someone please let me know why don't they bet on that particular game? I'm sure you can put a bet on for hockey. Hockey, hockey game. Let me know. Big business, you know, it's aimed at the families and that, you know. Aye, all the excitement's took right out of it. I mean, that boy's all padded. <laughs> so, you and Isaac are out there? Eh? No. You've seen the hell of a lot of her. I'm also on you. Oh, just sex then. No. <laughs> Grub. Grub? Oh, aye. Best of gear to every time. The other night there, we had steak pie. Right. Out of Finley's? With the sausages through it. Aye, the very same. I'm going to have to knock it on the head. How do you mean? Well, all this grub comes at a price, Eric. No way, ye. Well, it's eyes, aren't it? You have to put up with a chat all the time. Yak, 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 yak. Oh, aye, and yak, 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 yak. Mm. What's that other thing she does again? That's it. Yak, 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 yak. <laughs> I love you. See my dilemma, thing. Eric. Oh. I'm a big fat greedy bastard. <laughs> what have you had an emergency? <laughs> Keep talking. Whenever you finish your grub, I phone you. Well, that would mean I'd have to have her up to my house, but that's not a problem. Carry on. And I say, I'm looked to. 
and it's an emergency. Yeah, right, that's perfect. Right, 9.30. Call me at 9.30, no later. I'll meet you in the clansman for a pint. On you. On me. That's a given. <laughs> Right, you. Wendy's wonder. Three quid on the nose. What's that? What's what? This. <laughs> Sucking in through the teeth. What's all that about? Fell our last outing. No really living up to our early promise. Right, I'm away. OK. 9.30. Right, on the button, mind. Aye. On the button. Aye, OK. Uh, what happens at 9.30? Winston has asked me to phone him at exactly 9.30 because... Eric, why are you telling Stevie anything? Stevie does not need to know a thing. Stevie is a bookie, and that is all he is. He does not need to know what happens tonight. Now you, 9.30. You, Wendy's Wonder. Run along, Stevie boy, trot on. Wendy's Wonder. Third. Second. Pull up. So? Fell. Who are you, Stevie? John McCrerick, eh? Wendy's Wonder. Next race. Three quid on the nose, you tit. Thought I'd catch you in here, you wee monkey gambling, eh? Aiza, give me a fright. What about mints and totties tonight? Smashing. Listen, here, I was going to say to you, why don't you come up... Sorry, I know you guys really enjoy my stories. I hope you do. The main, the main really supports of the channel, you guys really enjoy the stories. But yeah, speaking of bookies, obviously, I used to live in Ireland when I was in college. I literally, I made a... I created, not created, but I had a massive beautiful relationship with people that walked in the bookies it was this lovely older older lady and this other guy because i literally because my my university was literally across from the bookies so literally once once we finish we're going in there to watch matches and putting in one pound one, so one euro two euro on you know on virtual losses that's when i actually got to know about odds on you know six to one twelve to one one to two all that kind of stuff and i met the most loveliest people you know all the, all the people obviously some people come in and they lose their money but then people that work there because you know i'm the kind of guy that i go to them i chat to them how's your day that kind of stuff and then they used to have sandwiches so uh, let's say there's a uh, uh, grand national going on or punches or what's the other one grand national punches down uh there's a bigger one that happens in the UK, I can't remember where it is. So if that's going on, you get the best sandwiches. So that's when you see me there. I'm probably betting three, five euro, five euro max. Barbie the one in front, and they don't mind that. They don't mind that because you know they got to know me. I'm just there chilling, chatting with them. So yeah, you just never know. Just like how Jack and Victor goes to the pub and chat with people. And I'm not really a gambler like that. But when I'm in there, I'm just really enjoying it. And now that I think of it, I tend to go there just to, just to see the people, just to chat with the people, not just to you know go gamble just to see how they're doing you know because they tell me about their family their kids that kind of stuff you just never know where community is you could be your local shopkeeper you could be anyone your postman your anyone i love that little community when you're in big seas you don't get to see it because you see different faces you don't get the same postman you don't get to your postman ain't gonna have a chat with you if you live in the city they have loads of stuff to do but your local postman your local make man they want to have a lovely chat which is all it's all about again some people might think i'm trying to show up i don't care i really enjoy it just about having a community which i absolutely love let's get back to isa and winston pumping each other hopefully we don't get to see that let's go to my house tonight see i'm always out at yours watching your telly and burning your lecky and that we change of venue eh? Ooh, ah, yes, lecky. it's lecky. a date right lecky i <laughs> love that word you're still dealing with the jet lag <laughs> uh, oh that's a bugger did you enjoy the hockey match? Oh, I was smashing, I. <laughs> Your dad enjoyed himself and all. What's Craig Lang like now? Well, pardon my French, darling, but it's a shite hole. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, it's not the place you remember. Do you mind your ma used to take you up to Mrs McCann's shop in Napier Road? Aye. I used to sit up on the counter and she'd give me a toffee apple. Aye. I saw shutters now. Is that wheel lane still there? Gets you up to the park? Roseford Lane? Aye. Aye. Oh. That's a shooting up gallery for the junkies now. <laughs> oh, you need a gun to go up that lane. What do you think my dad would say if we asked him to come out and live with us? Hmm? Eh, I don't know. You're going to ask him? I'm thinking about it. Do you think you could send him out? I don't think that's my place, darling. But you're his best friend. Aye, and you're his daughter. What you're talking about is a family thing. 
<laughs> you up and all. Hello, Dad. Hello. Right. I'm after my bed to stare at the ceiling. Good night. Or morning or middle or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, he's left to you, though. Me and Tony want you to stay, Dad. Oh. And the summer's along, you could see the kids all the time. There's a lovely wee pub in the mall I know you'd love. Tony thinks the world of you. I knew that was coming. Wait. Sorry, I'm so sorry I paused that, but what people don't realise is that what keeps people going is not about, you know, the most money you have. It's about your community. He's alive, not like just alive. He's alive, he's LT, because he knows he's going to save Victor. He's going to take the piss out of Bobby. Isaac's going to chat shy to him in the, in the lift. Things like that. That's what keeps people going as human beings, in my opinion, anyway. I feel like, although, obviously, he's going to be with his family. Obviously, he's loved, he loves his family, but these are people that made him. You know, it's good to, obviously, spend time with your family. I love, obviously, family. Nothing comes to your family. But people back home, in that shito, they are my family. I've been seeing them for the past 50, 60 years. They are my family also. When you guys decide that, you know, I'm too old and you have to put me in a home, What's gonna happen then? You're gonna come see me every, you know, two, three weeks. That's that's what's gonna happen in the end. They're gonna be like, yeah, come now, come now. But then it's gonna come a time where you know he can, you know, help himself with certain stuff. Then they're getting busy. The kids are going to university. Sorry, it's a bit morbid, but that's just the truth. Let's get back. Back to fun. Hey, you're right. It would be fantastic, but it's not for me. Why? Well. Right. See, years ago, before you were born, me and your mother were going to emigrate to Canada. Mm. We'd signed all the papers and all the rest of it. We were going. So what happened? We couldn't do it. Our bottles crashed. Bottom line was we weren't the type. Thousands went. Pals of mine. Family and that. But we didn't. Couldn't we? And then you were born. And you grew up and you came. Now look at you. I'm not bloody chuffed for you, so I am. Ah, that's the time of your life that you make these kind of decisions, you know. My time for that's past. Come out here. I couldn't come out here without your mother. To start again. That sound that sent chills down me. Like a little rush down my back. Wow. It just could Wow. Especially after you sp spoke to, you know, her mother when she was alive. That was the plan back then. You can't do it with her. It's not the same. It's not the same. Now obviously the relationship the relationship we has with Victor now is different, but it's kinda that's literally Victor is his partner. Literally. Obviously not a romantic partner, but that is that is person. You can't leave him alone, you know. I think that's that's like one of the major reasons why. But that's what keeps both of them going, especially losing their wives. That's just having to have one person that understands what you're going through. That's always gonna be there for you. Obviously, you're gonna fight. You're gonna you're gonna bicker. Obviously, that's what happens. But you guys are still together. You're in it together, regardless of what happens. I'm not too sure I'm gonna have this. I'm still I'm still pondering because you guys are calling me a fat bastard. <laughs> you guys are calling me a fat shite. I don't care. They're very cheap as well. How much? I think they're about two pound, two pound twenty or something like that. Let me know. Let me know how much you guys usually get yours for. I still need to try the log, the caramel logs. I've tried the caramel wafers. I still need to try the log. And then I'm gonna my girlfriend. You guys didn't see my girlfriend very soon. She hasn't been on the channel in a long time. She's gonna be trying it herself. Yeah, she can't wait to try it. But yeah, let's get back to the phone stuff. Let's go. I'm not at the start. Anyway, I've got to go home. I've still got £8 left in my power card. <laughs> wow. Well, 9.30. No. Sandra Bryan's wife. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Some tonic. Smash it. No. 
Sandy O'Brien's wife. What of her? <laughs> Who could that be? But this time, I wanted to hear that tea. I wanted a right good gab. <sighs> I wanted a right good gab. Hello, who is this? <laughs> Eric. At this time, an emergency, you see. Locked out. Well, how can I help? Yes, that's true. I did train as a locksmith, but I never followed it through, and I ended up taking another career path. <clears throat> I'll be right over. Is that Eric? Is he all right? No, he's locked out. He needs my help. Let yourself out. <laughs> you don't want me to wait here? No, no. Locks take an awful long time. You better go to him. See you after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here, see when the waitress comes back, I'm going to slap her ass like they do in the movies. Ah, that's what today. Slap the waitress's ass, and me, my daughter, my grandmans can watch her rip your arm right out his bloody socket and battle your melt in there. That'll be good. <laughs> Aye, right enough. She looks handy. What are you getting, boys? A gut buster. Each to share. <clears throat> Enough, What's that you're having, darling? Uh, Danish and a coffee. Ah, you see, just like your mother, darling, appetite of a sparrow. What are you on? Eight rashes of Canadian bacon, six sausages, eggs, hash browns, round of toast, and a side of pancakes. This is the lumberjack snack. Eight oh, rashes of bacon? That's a full packet. Oh, you'll be fit for after that's your bed, never mind a CN tower, eh? Nonsense. This'll set me up for the day. What are you getting? Eggs. Can you get just eggs? Ah, you can. I didn't want anything else. I just said eggs. I took eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your eggs then, eh? Christ, they must have a chicken in the back firing eggs with his ass like a Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get over that. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. You wouldn't think you could eat nine eggs, would you? <laughs> Half my bloody bacon. Ah, sorry about that. Look at this queue. Why is it working up here for again? Good point, Jack. I've no idea why we're going up the world's tallest freestanding building, visited by two million people per annum. Tallest freestanding building. Do you know what? I don't think I need to bother. I have done all the big heights. I've been up them all. <laughs> when have you done the heights? Eh. Uh, well. Come I... on. The Red Road Flats. <laughs> you afraid to go up to Grandad? Me? To go up there? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm quite happy to go up. Oh, he's a scared of bites. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the CN Tower, the world's tallest building and a wonder of the modern world. We are riding in one of our six oh. high speed elevators, which will be going up at 15 miles per hour. This was prior to the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Again, I'm going Dubai, if you haven't heard. When I do go to Dubai, you guys let me know. I'm going to try to do a little bit of love for you guys to show you guys around. But yeah, let me know how much you want to see. I was going to do like, you know, five, seven minutes video. If you guys want to see a 20 minutes video of it, just how it is there, let me know. I'd love to do that video. I've been there already and I've seen the Burj Khalifa, the ice beauty, and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You guys tell me anything you want me to do in Dubai. You'd love to see the food and all that kind of stuff. I'll try to do it. Let's get back to this modern world. We are riding in one of our six high-speed elevators which will be going up at 15 miles per hour or 22 kilometers per hour. To the look you hear that, Jack? Just 22 kilometers an hour we're traveling at. <laughs> That's faster than the lift at Osprey Heights, eh? Are you all right, Dad? <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Come on over and have a look. I can see all right for here, eh? <laughs> Jack, we've got a glass floor. You can see all the way down. <laughs> come on, come on, oh, Grandad, come I'm on. fine here. I can see fine. Just leave me. I'm fine. Grandad's scared. Grandad's scared. That's just selling us now. That's, that's Jack, enough. What's this? Scared guy. Scared guy. Scared guy. You're afraid to go. <laughs> Calm down. It'll wash off. <laughs> Bobby, you've got another phone back there I can use. Oh, aye. 
get this wee Samsung P500. Oh, I nearly forgot. That's my phone. <laughs> you use the punter phone. Come on, Bobby, it's urgent. Who are you phone? I'll think about it. Winston. No. <laughs> no, I've got to phone him. What's the word? Isaac's is cooking up his dinner all the time now. Once he's finished eating, he doesn't want to sit and right. listen to her shite, so I have to phone at half night, own the button, and make out there's an emergency. What's the number? Sorry, sorry. What I love about this show is that literally my vocabulary is just what how I chat in real life. That's how I chat in this show. You know, shite, it's all loads of shite. That's, that's literally how I talk in real life. It's getting to a stage, my girlfriend knows that, she, you know, she's. She's, it's bad because I'm. She's using some of the phrases I use a lot. I love this show. For fuck's sake! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to listen to eyes as eyes as shite. Oh my god! And she says to me, "I've been using caramel shortcake for years for salts and cardigans and shawls and the like. And that there, and your horn is a ball of caramel shortcake. Well, I turned it home. There it was." Bold as you like, caramel shortcake. I don't mind telling you, Vince, and I was mortified. And then she said... Hello, Eric. Uh, uh. <coughs> Hello. Hello, Winston. Enjoy your dinner. Hello, Eric. It's no Eric. It's Bobby. <laughs> yes, Eric. Put eyes on. No. <laughs> well, I want to tell her how you can't be doing sitting about listening to your... What was it, Eric? Shite. <laughs> Who smashed your windy? I'm about to smash your wee windy. That poor woman cooking your dinner. I'll be right over. Aye, to buy me a brandy. Righty-o, oh, Eric. Bye-bye. Oh. Been great, isn't it? Oh, aye. I never thought I'd get to this age and still be seeing new places like this. Uh, we're not done yet. we are still got Niagara Falls to see before we get him. That's what you want to do. Go home. Aye, she knows that now. I've, I've told her, aye. I'll not see Canada again. She can visit you. Aye, I suppose. Hi, guys. Great place, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely stunning, aye. Of course, we've got the real thing back home, haven't we? The real thing? Aye, a big place called Fur Hill. we <laughs> twice the size of this place. Really? Wow. Aye, jam-packed every week it is. Smashing. See you now. For real, is that like an old stadium? Because like when it, when it comes to the national stadium in, in Scotland, it's Ampton Park, isn't it? You got Ampton, you got is it Ampton? I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong. You got Ampton, you got Celtic Park, you got Ibrox. Those are the three main stadiums: Celtic Stadium and Rangers Stadium. And Ampton Park is the national stadium for matches. Was there a stadium called Fair Fair Hill? Mm, was it? Someone please let me know. Again, I'm gonna be visiting Scotland very very soon. So I need to know a lot of places. And I, people are like, when are you coming? When are you coming? I don't want to rush it. I'm planning every single day. Trust me. It's going to be... I've been to a lot of places in the world. I've been to like probably like 15 countries. But this one is special to me. It's special. Yeah, let's continue. You know. Away you go, you cut the line, all bastards. <laughs> I was <laughs> robbing Mary Hill. <laughs> Imagine. Anyway, I'm seated at the bingo on Saturday after then, so we'll soon see if our nose is out of joint. Did you keep looking at the clock for once? I'm um, no. No. Anyway, do you mind we Kelly and Reed? Well, I don't want her taking up with this boy, and I've told him not to phone, but he keeps phoning, doesn't he? Alison doesn't want a big rumpus, so she'd no option but to pull a plug out the phone, and that way the phone couldn't ring. And I thought, that's a smashing idea. You do that for? To stop Eric phoning here with some emergency. What are you on about? I'm up here every night. I'm cooking your dinner, I'm washing your plates, giving you your tea. And at exactly half past nine, that phone rings. No, it doesn't. And you're out that door, so you don't have to sit and listen to my push. No, I'm on the... Right, it's 9.35. What do you think's going to happen when I plug that back in? Nothing. <laughs> Pack up. <laughs> it's me, Eric. 
Five bloody times I've tried to phone you and it just kept ringing out. Right. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I've been murdered, whatever. See you in the Klansman in five minutes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Absolutely staggering. Hi. This must be my tenth time here. Never tired of it. Do you know my way sit a wee bit, though? All the tacky touristy shops are there. I think it makes it look a wee bit black, Billy. Hi. <laughs> look at that numb tear there with the daft hat on. <laughs> Fiona! Jack! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Nice. Ah, yeah, lovely. Suit you. Oh, didn't you think I'd forget my old pal, do you? <laughs> ah, smashing, thanks very much. Right, who's for the maid of the mist? Me, me! me. No, no, we'll hang about here. Why you go and enjoy yourself? OK, come on, you two. Are you sure you don't want to stay, Dad? I am sure. I've often wondered what it would have been like if me and your mo had to come out here to stay. Well, that reminds me. Mum's ring. No, Dad, you keep it. No. I brought it out here for you to keep. Get your money in. Come on, Eric. Thank you, Skiffy Jack, and Victor wins the pot. Hey, Eric, you kick off. What'd they get you? They brought me a thermometer with a photograph of Niagara Falls on it. Really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I could top that. Floor's yours, Pete. Rocky Mountain. Dessert. Wine. That's no bad. That's no bad. Gather round, gents. A shot glass emblazoned with the legend. Canada. Aye, so oh, what? Canada, big up. deal. Uh, don't be so hasty. Watch what happens when I place some booze into the glass. <laughs> there you go. A naked a lady. Yeah, <laughs> that's so bad. Oh, here. A naked woman. That's got my temperature soaring. I'm roasting. I think I'll have to take my jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> Niagara Falls, come to me with that pot. <laughs> Speak sherry, please, Bobby. Owen oh, Boyce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm giving you a fool. Oh, Lord. The, the, the shock last really surprised me. Oh, my God. Naked lady. This show... You get so much emotions out of it, and it's just beautiful to see. I think there's about there's about nine seasons. Oh my god! <laughs> there's about oh, we have so much to go. Every Monday, six o'clock. It's either six or seven p.m. I know people commenting, Eddie, Eddie, where's the new episode? Like, I really enjoy. I really like this show. That I don't want to rush it. I I know I don't want to rush this show. I just want to take my time to just you know. I told you in the past there were times when I will, I'll be watching on Netflix. I remember someone told me yo check out Stay Again and I seen a bit of it. I say a bit a bit a bit and there this was years ago. Now I just really want to enjoy this show and it's so beautiful you guys are following me in this journey. I really really love it. I cannot wait. I cannot <laughs> I cannot wait to come to Scotland. I cannot wait. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be smashing. It's gonna be smashing. Uh yeah uh if you guys want to see more you know what to do to just support me. All I'm asking for is just like please please like the video, make sure you subscribe. I post a lot of other stuff. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Any food you want to try. I'm sure you're going to be trying to love other food. I'm also going to be setting up a Discord on the channel in case something happens where we can now all chat. Also, a Patreon just in case something happens where you, can actually, where you guys can actually see more videos of me. So I've been trying so much shit. You guys are tired of me. Have a lovely day, a lovely night, wherever you are. 
I love you. I do love you. See you. Bye-bye.